two minutes past 10 in the morning, it appears we have what it seems to be a swarm of the earthquakes under the clear for what, which is uh, related to the uh, Christophic volcanic system, is starting in the Reckonis Peninsula of Iceland. You can see the depth of it. It's from 10 kilometers up to the uh, 6 and 5 kilometers. So it is quite deep source. It may be related to what we have been already talking about it. I, I had a video about it. I played after this, which shows the source for for the uh, Fegedesvio volcanic system was at a depth of 12 kilometers. And the same may have been true for the you know, the uh, Swarthingi volcanic system, which is now erupting. This is the earthquake swarm. I mark it here for you. This is the diagram, which was the latest research about it. This is the latest model that we have for that, 8 to 12 kilometer. So this well fits with the pattern we are sitting. This is the map of the earthquake, the location on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Epicenter is marked by a star. That is where, where the center of the earthquake on the surface will fall. This is where the boundary between the Eurasian plates and the North American plates are located, as you can see, or American plate, we should call it. Um, and uh, this seems is actually rising something like a magma. Earthquake shows the movement of something. I'll play the videos. The style of the eruption in the Sword Singh volcanic system of the Reckonis Peninsula in Iceland up to the March 2024 was in the way of a eruption which lasted only a few days. March 2024 eruption was different. It lasted now more than four weeks. The eruptions before that we thought that they are sourced, this is the model that we have, from a four to five kilometer magma source on the source Sengi. Nine vents in this new eruption, which I have named all of them, and the one that is survived is I have called it K1. K1 has lasted now, is the only surviving one, and is providing a lot of, you know, uh, lava to the lava stream and building practically a shield around it. We thought that this one is actually sourced from a magma reservoir sitting on the top of the mantle around 15 kilometers deep. It may not be the case. The previous models also suggested similar to this, and we have now a better image. The source of the magma in the Fegredes fuel was deeper than what we thought, but not as deep as 15 kilometers, which is the thickness of the lithosphere in the Reckonis Peninsula. The new study shows that this was not actually at the depth of the 15 kilometer. The source is within the earth crust, around 12 kilometers deep, which feeds the Swartzengi uh, magma storage, that shallower, at the depth of 4 to 5 kilometers. But at the same time, uh, some of it actually survives and reaches the Swartzengi volcanic system in this new eruption, in the K1, the crater I have named K1, uh, practically is a less evolved magma from the depth with more evolved uh, magma from the source and mixed up and erupting at the K1. During the last 70 million years, when the Thetis Ocean was closing and the Asia and Europe were joining together, forming a supermass, Atlantic Ocean was forming. Iceland was separating from the Greenland, and that created, through the mid-Atlantic ridge opening up, the island we call Iceland. Volcanism was rife in this area, and is rife now even. You can see it erupts in the Grindavik, made the town uninhabitable for the people. And uh, through these eruptions, we know that when a plate moves, it has to accommodate the motion. We see the evidence in the position of the earthquakes. Earthquakes move in this uh, diagram I've made from the west toward the east. As one opening of the gap creates eruption, a transform faults in black uh, arrows has to transfer it to the next fault lines. These are different systems. We call them different systems. Fegedestral system, Chrysovic system. Chrysovic system is the one that we are talking about now. So like a domino effect, when one moves, lava erupts through that fault line. The next one has to move also, accommodate the motion. And as you can see, it goes like a domino effect across the Iceland toward the east, separating these plates, Eurasian plate and North American plate from each other. Christovic volcanic system is actually the volcanic system which is taking all these movements, accommodating them through it, and has to transfer it to somewhere else. Transferment in that sense means opening up, and by opening up it creates volcanism. It has done it in the past. We have seen evidence for it all through this, you know, slanted line. You can see Chrysovic is one of those systems. It reached once, 
the vicinity of the Reykjavik, the capital of the Iceland. And uh, it can do it again. We see the Fegedisio system and now movement through that toward the Grindavik, we can see it. And again, this movement has now is transferred again to the Krisovik. Through this uh, mechanism, I like this chart to show you again. Krisovik was active in the 12th century for 37 years, created the most huge fire because fire means eruption in that sense. Because the um, volcanic system is under very, you know, highly saturated bedrock, it created huge fires, phreatic eruptions. These phreatic eruptions are huge compared to the, uh, this little fissure compared to the person standing beside it is, is amazing. Something like what we see in the Reunion Island in the Atlantic, in the Indian Ocean, or what we saw in the Cambre Vieja, hundreds of meter of, meters of the ash and lava erupt into the air. When it happens, it will be big. I even may reach the Reykjavik. I have a video I will show you that. Although in this video I've called it part of the Fekidesville system. When the mid-Atlantic reach, uh, reaches the Iceland, it has created several peninsulas. One of them is the Reykjavik Peninsula, created by the volcanic system that you see the names of them here. They are technically similar to the bottom edge uh, structure, shear structures that we see in the rocks. Is an extension creating fault lines, and the fault lines through them the lava may erupt. We see them in the in micro scale in, in the rocks. You can make it with a plasticine if you have the time, a model of that. And the extension can create fault lines that the uh, um, lava can rise through them. In the case of the um, the systems, these systems are directly connected to the mantle. Fegedesvia volcano was a such a volcanic system. We found that with this uh, discovery that this Fegedesvia was connected actually to the earth mantle through a dike. The dike is feed, fed by the mantle. And as the uh, eruption happens in this area in 2021 in Fegedesvia, 22 in the Meridil, and Little Horto in the 2023, it may happen and extend to the years beyond. From 2025, will be a slight angle toward the east, uh, as you see in the uh, other systems parallel to it toward the east. And by 2030, it's quite possible that this system may reach the Reckoners or the suburbs of it. This is the day that you will see the volcanoes actually erupting inside the town or near the outskirts of the town. This is a scary scenario. And this is one of the several scenarios that may happen. This volcanic system may not reach as far as the Reykjavik, uh, but in this model that I presented, if it reaches there, that will be just outskirts of the town.